Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now July 3rd of 2020 and ever since the very end of the Skywalker Saga with Episode 9 serving just as that, a lot of fans have been very skeptical and very curious about the future of Star Wars and how both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are going to handle everything moving forward throughout this entire decade and exactly how the Star Wars fans are really going to react to it all. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the thing about Disney Star Wars is that we do know that they have over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects in the works, and that's just on Disney Plus alone. Mind you, that's completely separate from the new Star Wars trilogy of movies and other movies in the works currently as well. The thing that I find to be most interesting about the future here is that we have Bob Chapek really cleaning up house over at Lucasfilm. He's hiring new creatives, number one. He's promoting other creatives that already exist, like Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau. And number three, George Lucas. He's letting him stay intact over at Lucasfilm and really helping to rebrand Star Wars into becoming an ever-evolving franchise on a more positive route, right? We've seen this up and down cycle with Star Wars when it came to Kathleen Kennedy's rule, if you will. Uh, you know, she was really always very incompetent as a leader of Lucasfilm. It never really worked out. And that's exactly why her creative power was taken away by Bob Chapek after the box office results came in for The Rise of Skywalker and how it did not even meet The Last Jedi, surprisingly. So everything related to the future of Star Wars, one particular project that a lot of fans are up in arms over is the Leslie Headland Star Wars TV show, where of course now with both Disney and Lucasfilm now finished with the entire Skywalker saga, they are moving on to their new Star Wars trilogy of films, as well as the new Star Wars universe. Now currently both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are doing everything in their power in order to create a better future for the Star Wars brand. However, behind the scenes, it's explained that one of the major projects that are now being worked on is the Leslie Headland Star Wars TV series for Disney+. Plus. Now, it's noted that the new TV show is going to involve actress Brie Larson and that they plan to begin filming sometime in 2021 next year. Now, in case you guys did not know, 2021 is going to be a very important year when it comes to Star Wars. Now, Leslie Headland is aiming for Brie Larson to become a new Jedi Master that will hold a series of new powers that will make her f that will make her far stronger than any other Jedi before that the fans have actually seen in Star Wars history, and that Leslie will be using some powers from Star Wars Legends that will apply to Brie Larson's character, such as teleportation and even force fire that will be used. Leslie is aiming to creating a Jedi warrior for Brie that will take advantage of both the powers of the dark and the light in this brand new Star Wars timeline for the fans to enjoy. However, many fans are against Hedlund's ideas. Larson's character in the new series is described to be a symbol for a real world cause when it comes to identity politics and more, and that her character will be a very woke character in the coming series. Now, Brie Larson's character is described to be a new chosen one in a brand new timeline of Star Wars. Now that right there is the thing that I feel kind of just really breaks a major rule when it comes to Star Wars. We talked about this, that Headland planned to break the rules of Star Wars, and this is most certainly one of them, by including multiple chosen ones, right? So we're going to have Brie Larson's character as the new chosen one of this brand new timeline, which by the way, uh, there were a lot of ideas that Headland was actually juggling with between an era that would take place before Phantom Menace or an era that would take place before the Rise of Skywalker. Between those two are still being decided upon. Now, the writing of the scripts are beginning this month of July, and it's already being a beginning work as we speak. You know, a lot of stuff is being done for this new TV show, and we're going to be learning more and more about this this August, where a lot of Star Wars news about the future is going to drop. In order to compensate, right, for what happened with Star Wars Celebration and how that got all cancelled due to the crisis. Now, the thing about this that I really am against, and I'm sure that you guys may very well agree with me, but if you disagree, that's fine. All opinions are welcome. They really are. Um, I just feel that Brie Larson's character being the most powerful Jedi ever in existence so far, 
it just it just seems like that Leslie Headland is doing this on purpose, that there's no real reason behind the story as to why Bree's character would be the most powerful. It feels like almost that Leslie is just doing this just because it's Brie Larson and that she wants Brie Larson to be the best of the best. Kind of like how they tried or are trying to do with Captain Marvel in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, that's what they're trying to do at least with the future Marvel films and the TV shows. They want to make Captain Marvel pretty much, you know, the character. So when we look at everything with Star Wars, that's what Leslie wants with Brie Larson as well. And honestly, it just doesn't work for me. I'm sorry. You know, if you guys are into Brie Larson, that's fine. I'm not, you know, pointing fingers at her as a person per se. But as an actress and how, how she handles her interviews and how she views, you know, fandoms, it's just, it's just ugly. That's all I can really say. I mean, it's just ugly the way she handles everything. So with that being said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.